High above Upriver Drive in Spokane Valley, it's hard to miss Arborcrest Cliff House Estate. The destination property built in 1924 is the winery's ace in the hole. We realized the potential for the property um, and the historic significance packaged that together with making it a spot that people wanted to go not only for wine tasting but for the three acres of landscape, gardens and grounds. In 2009 though, the Cliff House was crippled by fire, but General Manager Jim Van Lobensell says the rebuild actually took Arbor Crest to the next level. Um, we were able to come back even stronger and upgrade all of our utilities, um, which, something, which might not have happened had that event not happened. This suit of Spanish armor they call schlep was one of the few things that survived the fire. He got all cleaned up and he hangs out on the third floor and kind of is the protector of the cliff house. And wine enthusiasts will tell you Arborcrest wine is worth protecting. It's 19 different types of wine are shipped to about 25 different states. And these days, its quality is helped by the age and maturity of the Columbia Valley's vineyards. It's exciting because we're making wines that stack right up against the French, Italian, and Californians. Arborcrest was once known as a white and sweet wine producer until Jim and his wife Christina took over. We make Cab, Merlots, Red Blends, um, and that has been a huge shift for the Arborcrest product line, but Washington does Reds well. In about a month from now, when spring harvest starts, Arborcrest winemaking facility here off of Buckeye in East Spokane will really be hopping, but the hope is to one day move this facility up to the Cliff House. To have that Napa Valley experience where you can smell the winemaking process, be in a barrel room. But Arborcrest is still quite an experience. The winery hosts events like weddings and summer concerts every Thursday and Sunday. Still go out for under $50 for a couple and have a great evening. Um, and we have catered food up here um, as well as bringing your own picnics. Arborcrest is even looking into building an indoor facility to take advantage of the winter months and that's where Van Lobensell says you can help. It just takes time and money and and, uh, and all I ask is a bottle a day. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> nice. For Maine the Northwest, I'm Derek Dice, KXLY4 News.